Hey, what's up? Let's take a look at this Rotring Centro Compass. So this is uh, later in the series of Rotring. Once you get past the all metal compasses, there are a few different versions I'm aware of. One of them is the uh, Rotring Convex series. This one is the Centro. This is the first one I've owned or had in my hands of this type. It is a quick adjust compass, rapid adjustment compass uh, via the mechanism of these spring-loaded paddles here. When you squeeze all four of these on both legs, you have a rapid adjustment. All right, and then of course you have your center or central thumb screw, thumb wheel on here for the micro adjustments. This screw is nice and stout. <clears throat> this whole thing's kind of stout. The um, handle here has a nice knurling on it. <clears throat> has a good size diameter, pardon me. <clears throat> Clear my throat there. And you can see the legs are very stout. It's got this unique design with the uh, two pieces of metal with the plastic sandwiched in between. This is from the era when they were just enamored with plastics and the uh, unlimited possibilities, you know, with plastics. So you've got it all over the place. Um, sandwiched in there, the jacket, the paddles, even on the piece that holds the uh, needle there. You got this sandwich piece with a, a stud that comes out that nests inside this um, hollowed out piece in the leg. Same design there for the lead holder, which again, they work, they work okay. Um, the diameter of that screw is kind of fatter than it would be if it was metal, so it, it holds just fine. You wouldn't want to crank the crap out of that. Probably would strip out, but um, hey, at least this one's all metal. That's nice, you got your removable lead holder there. And this, of course, has some knees or joints, however you want to name them. That way you can get your needle and your pencil if you would like closer to perpendicular with the paper or the writing surface. The thing I don't like about these joints being so high up is that as soon as you put them in, you lose a lot of distance there. It changes the geometry of the compass versus being down lower. Um, like for example, on a compass that I had handy a minute ago that has since disappeared. I guess I put it away. Anyways, on some of the other compasses, the joints down lower, like down here, um, which makes you, uh, it actually feels better. I think it works better. Um, and you don't lose as much distance on there. All in all, this is a very cool compass. It's uh, kind of unique in the Rotring series. Um, going from the all metal type of ones from the, you know, the 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s into the 80s, 90s or whatever this was made. Um, this is in the, uh, you know, later, later in the series. Exactly when, I don't know, I don't really care. I'm not that type of a collector. Worked pretty good with the small there. Let's see how small I can get reliably. I'm just goofing around now. One thing I will note also, as well as a uh, nitpick is these needles just ain't what they used to be. So I noticed on uh, a modern compass that I have, that's a current Swiss. See, it won't even stick in the paper there. I'm trying to make a small circle. I think I would know how to do this by now. Um, I was, what was I saying? I have a, a newer make, current Swiss, which is actually made in Italy. Uh, they just somehow have the brand to make them. And the needles have gone to shit in over the past 20, 30 years for the most part. Um, so this thing, there's some kind of point there I can barely discern, but it's not very sharp. And this is a two millimeter uh, needle. On the older needles that you find with um, half or reefler or rotring or almost anybody that made compasses in the 60s, 70s, into the probably 80s even, um, they were just made so well. Um, some of those needles were just machined so well, you know, they have like that nice taper to a shoulder to this nice super fine point. That's just like needle, needle sharp. And some of the newer ones are crap. In fact, the only reason I got into, um, I got obsessed with, uh, collecting slash, 
owning, selling, buying, uh, compasses and drafting equipment is the first, the very first entrance. The gateway drug was I was trying to find a good needle. <laughs> I had a set that had a crappy needle and I was like, I just need a good needle. And so I went on eBay and I found a Staler set that had some really nice needles. I was really just buying it for the needles. And this is a cautionary tale. Um, uh, beware. You start off with buying a needle just to get a needle for your compass that you have that you're totally happy with. And two years later, uh, it's a problem. It's a big problem. So anyways, point is though, the, the, uh, the older needles were just made to a much higher standard and uh, work much better. And I'm already seeing that in this set here. Anyways, that's my overly long winded review slash rambling on about this compass. Thanks for watching.